Welcome back to the Angry American. Listen, Kyle Rittenhouse, you're dead to me. I'm going to cut you off, drop you like a bad habit. This man just said, and I'm going to play the video, he just said that he is not going to vote for Donald Trump. He's going to write in Ron Paul's name. And I'll let him give you the reasons, and then we'll talk about why he's dead to me. And he should be dead to any MAGA Trump supporter on this planet. Let's roll the tape. Hi, I'm Kyle Rittenhouse, Outreach Director for Texas Gun Rights. A lot of people are upset that I said I'm... That first part, real quick, that first part, he says, I'm going to play real quick one more time again. Outreach Director for Texas Gun Rights. He says he's Outreach Director for Texas Gun Rights. That's going to play in to a little bit later in the video. We're going to get into what that is. And uh, maybe some motivation for why he's acting like this. A lot of people are upset that I said I'm going to be writing in Ron Paul for president of the United States. And that is true. I will be writing in Ron Paul. Unfortunately, Donald Trump had bad advisors making him bad on the Second Amendment. And that is my issue. If you cannot be completely uncompromisable on the Second Amendment, I will not vote for you. And I will write somebody else in. We need champions for the Second Amendment or our rights will be eaten away and eroded each day. I support my decision and I have no take backs. Hi, I'm Kyle. Okay, so there's that. And let me tell you something about Kyle Rittenhouse. It's, it's channels like mine and Salty Cracker. We were the only ones with the nuggets to cover the whole Antifa mess and the BLM riots in an honest, straightforward way and show the tape. Salty and I had Kyle Rittenhouse's back, and now he's pulling this move? I cannot even believe it. I cannot even believe it. So, let's, let's, let's take a second and we'll look at this post by Dom Luker, uh, which he posts a lot of good stuff. Okay, Dom Luker, this is on X. It says, Exposed, Kyle Rittenhouse has been working with Rocky Mountain gun owners, a gun lobby ran by serial Trump hater Dudley Brown. Don't know who the guy is. Look him up. Rocky Mountain Gun is the Colorado affiliate of the National Association for Gun Rights. The national organization helped fund Rittenhouse among, amid his legal case when he was in trouble. Rittenhouse announcement for not voting for Trump was actually posted by Dudley Brown first. That post is still on Kyle's page. The company has a history of spending tens of thousands of dollars against pro-Trump candidates. Rittenhouse has spoke for Rocky Mountain gun owners at multiple venues and events. He is even seen wearing their shirt during his speeches and appearances. Just go to Dudley Brown's Twitter page and search Kyle. After that, search Trump. I personally believe that Rittenhouse is being taken advantage of. He was young, easy to control, and in need of help. Whoever paid his debts are still, at, still asking for interest, and his opinions and voice has been manipulated into forcing him to push things he don't believe. Everything Rittenhouse said in the video looks like a tweet from Dudley Brown. Brown is even present in, in promotional footage that isn't hosted by Rocky Mountain gun owners. Is that random? You be the judge. Okay, so listen. This may there may there may be something to this. I mean, people do crazy things for money, but are they really this Dudley Brown idiot? How dumb are you to take a MAGA vote and throw it in the trash? You know what you end up with then? You end up with Kamala Harris as president. And then you think you got uh, gun rights problems under Trump. You ain't going to have any gun rights under Kamala Harris. Let's get that straight. Your gun rights will be gone. They're going to take all your guns. There's going to be FBI, everybody showing up at your house, busting down your door, drawing guns on you in front of your kids, taking what guns you do have. This is the dumbest idea I have ever heard. Dudley Brown, you, sir, are a moron, and you better quit pushing this trash because you think your gun rights are, are uh, being infringed upon now? Wait till Kamala gets in office. If, you, if anybody who's thinking about throwing their vote away, wow, there's something wrong with your brain. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. My opinion is 
you know, now that I hear it, I mean, at first, you know, I'm thinking, you're dead to me. And, and in a way, he still is, because, you know, you can't just turn on the people that backed you up. You can't do it. It's not right. I mean, you need money, I get it, but sometimes it's not about the money. Sometimes it's about the principle. And if you're talking, trying to encourage people to throw their vote in the trash in the most important election in history, you've got to be kidding me. You are dead to me, son. You are just... I can't even stand you right now. You, you, you've you said the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And uh, I think we're done. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this story. And maybe Kyle will put out something else saying, you know, he backs out on what he said about Trump. But I don't believe so. These people are in his pocket. So... He's probably done. He's bought and paid for. He's a controlled asset. Somebody's controlling him. And they're not for Trump, which is dumb. You're just throwing your vote in the trash. Anyway, guys, until next time, this is the Angry American saying, be aware of your surroundings at all times because some really crazy stuff be popping off out here daily. And I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Peace. Peace. Out. <laughs> I learned about kids jumping on my lap, and I love kids jumping on my lap.